busy this morning. Yes, they must be giving out free scratch cards with every breakfast. Morning, boys. Don't forget, coach trip today. Oh, yeah. Bring your trunks. We're just off to get ours. Oh, do you fancy that? Hmm. Seeing Donald and Jacqueline cavorting in their speedos. What's the alternative? Being shot between the eyes with a rusty air rifle. Oh, no contest. Pull the trigger. <laughs> You don't want anything more than that, son. No. That was lovely. I mean, don't get me wrong, I think you've done brilliant with your dieting. But let's be honest, if you turned sideways now, you'd be marked absent. You're joking. Got another two stone go. Another two stone? You'll have to wallow out your legs. There's nothing on you. Your Uncle Francis said you'd had an elastic band fitted like that fern cotton off the telly. But I told him it's a will of iron that boy's used to get his weight down and nothing more. I thought you mean fern Britain. Now, are you coming with me to the waterfalls of Agadou? The waterfalls of Algar? That's it. No, I've got a bit of business to sort out in the old town. Do you want me to come? No, I've got to see an hombre about a pedo. Oh. Right. Eh, hey, you never know. That what's a name might be coming to the waterfalls. Tell. I'm not interested. You are. You had a date with her. We're just friends. Well, it's about time you got yourself a nice girlfriend. Mother, will you leave it? What happened to that girl with the funny lip you met on that whitey scheme? Was her name Cheryl? I can't remember. It's a good few years ago. I haven't got time for girls right now, what I? Haven't got time for girls, a good-looking lad like you. What about that lass off the internet you were talking to? Mother, can we just drop the subject? I told you I'd lend you the money to go to Brazil, but you didn't seem keen. Look, how many times do I have to tell you? I'm just not interested! Not interested in girls. <laughs> what are you interested in then? <laughs> <laughs> Mother, what's going on today? Are you coming with us on this trip or are you staying here? I'm not going anywhere. I can't take my chair. I'm on my holidays. I shouldn't have to walk around. Come on, look at that. There's two waterfalls, a diving area and a natural swimming pool. You're joking, she ain't going to come with us. All that water? She'll be frightened somebody throws a bar of imperial leather at her and she'll have to get a wash. <laughs> well, you're not going anywhere. You've got to work for Mel. <sighs> Madge. It may have escaped your notice, but Mel's mobility boutique tragically burned to the ground last night, thus rendering me, sadly, unemployed. <laughs> <laughs> He'll still need you to clear things up. He can't be expected to do that on his own. Do you think I'm spending the day shoveling shit in a burnt-out shop when it's 80 degrees out here? You can kiss my ass. <laughs> Same to you. There's no wonder the kids of today are sticking knives in each other, eyes a kite on drugs when their parents are using language like that. If he kiss your arse, it won't be just the kids high as a kite. <laughs> Can we have a bit less talk of arses when I'm trying to eat me sausage, please? <laughs> anyway, Mel's got that Spanish lad working for him. What's his name? Paco. That's it. Let Paco earn his three euros an hour. I am going swimming with my beautiful wife. <laughs> oh, why? What are you after? <laughs> you know what he's after. He's always been the same. Oh, dear. Do I detect a tinge of jealousy? Hmm? After a full year of marriage, have you and Mel not yet done the deed of darkness? The deed of what? What's he talking about? The beast with two backs. Oh, shut up. Beast with two backs? What's that one is at home? Has he stormed the trenches? Eh? Hidden the hot dog? <laughs> <laughs> have you both turned the lights out and done the okie cokey? Oh. Oh. All right, <laughs> I see what you mean. No, not yet. I don't think he's interested. I must admit, your father was very talented in that department. I remember when he first took me up the Pleasure Beach and showed me his American smooth. Oh, she thinks you're talking about dancing. Well, what are you talking about? Right, I'm going up the road to see how they're getting on. How Mel's getting on. You've not finished your breakfast. It's black pudding. Mm. 
pass it over. See you later. Keep an eye on Coolio, will you? Yeah. Back here by 11. What's she going over there for? I think she's after a different type of black body. I'm holding you responsible for all this, don't you? Senor Harvey, I tell you the lights are too much. Nothing to do with the lights. It was a bloody wire and it was like Spaghetti Junction in there. No wonder we went up in flames. Senor Harvey, I need to talk to you about money. Oh, don't worry about me. Everything was insured. When you've been in business as long as I have, you always keep one step ahead. No, I mean money for me. Two weeks I have now been working for you and nothing. Money for you? You burned my business to the ground, you asked me for money. I told you when you started, you're a month's trial. Going by this lot, you're lucky not to have been arrested for arson. Hiya. Oh, hello, darling, you all right? Yeah. Hola. Hola. Are you coming on this trip to the waterfalls? Well, there's not much more I can do here. May as well make the most of the sun. I, uh, don't suppose Paco could come, could he? It was Paco. Oh, him? Is that his name? Oh, not really, darling. He's got work here to do. Oh, OK. Oh, right. See what you mean. Oi, face sake. Get that shop locked up and be over at the Solanas in ten minutes. You're coming on a trip. Senor Harvey, I have to... Pronto! Morning. I think we've missed breakfast. Ugh, I don't think I could keep nothing down. We got to doing somersaults. Oh. You all right? Mm. Not the most comfortable bed in the world. You could always sleep with me in the double bed. I do trust you, Martin. Well, I wouldn't want to, um... Mind you, I wouldn't recommend it. I don't know if it's the food, but I've had shocking wind ever since I got here. I suppose we could share the bed. I mean, we're, we're both responsible adults. Sorry, Martin, what did you say? Nothing. It's all right. Just because he's not found the right girl doesn't mean he's gay. That's what they said about Liberace. Excuse me, I need to clear these tables. Yes, we've nearly finished. Oh, go away. But he's never had a proper girlfriend. Not one. He might be just a late starter. Now that's true. Or he might just be a big fat homo. I mean, everybody thought that Marmon was normal, but I heard he was once caught rolling around behind that bar with a fella. So you never can tell. I think it's time to find a sunbed. Oh dear, I didn't mean to say normal. He's all right. The other bloke they caught the barman with. It was me. See you later. You dirty beggar. They're a happily married couple. Gentlemen, here are your tickets for the Waterfalls of Algar, which entitles you to full access to all areas, your Solana's picnic, and a complimentary glass of Nispero liqueur. Uh, what is Nispero? It's a fruit grown locally in this region. Well, hey, let's get Pispero and Nispero. <laughs> she said one glass. <laughs> 
know why we had to come here anyway. We've got everything we need back at the apartments, food, drink, pool for the kiddies. Oh, come on, ma'am. It's nice to see different places. I never wanted to come. There's too many steps, it's too steep, and there's too many people. And my shoes are hurting me. Oh, oh you're determined to have a good time, aren't you? Here you are, get some of this down your neck. Oh, Jesus, it's good stuff, that. Mm. Very acceptable, that. It's too nice as a nightcap or a digestive. No, you wouldn't want a digestive with that. It'd be too dry. Maybe a chocolate top knob. A digestive's an alcoholic drink taken after dinner to complement the meal and aid digestion. Well, I wouldn't expect you to know that. All right, Fanny Craddock, calm down. He doesn't need to calm down. He was actually telling you something. If you tried listening to people instead of making snide remarks all the time, you might actually learn something. Excuse me, could we get through? We've not actually had a free drink yet. Learned something from him. You've got no manners, because you've had no education. We get by, we're not having a free drink. Hang on a minute, it's just getting good, there. No education? And who do you think you are, Brain of Britain? You're as thick as two short planks. Mind you, his mother was just the same. The apple never falls far from the tree. Can we just go in, please? We're holding people up. Whoa, whoa, hang on a minute. What's that supposed to mean? Just forget it. Come on. I wasn't talking to you. I beg your pardon. You know what it means. I beg my Janice not to marry you. You're all the same, you Garvey's. Heathens. And where's all this suddenly come from? Suddenly? There's nothing sudden about it. Can we just get to the free drinks, please? Oh, calm down, fatty. They're not going to evaporate. What did you just call my husband? There you go. Typical. That's what the Garvey's always wear. Rude, vile pigs. Come on, ma'am. Let's go. Hang on a minute. Whose side are you on? Not yours. Unbelievable. Hey, son. Do you want to try some of this? No, thanks. So, where did you say you were from again? Benidorm. <laughs> oh, yeah, you said. Do you honestly think she reckons her son's gay? Can't see it myself. He's oafish, boring, completely without style, totally lacking in manners. And notwithstanding that, he simply doesn't have the intelligence to be gay. So you reckon you need all them things to be gay? Absolutely. All right. I just thought you needed to like a bit of cock. For despair. Oh, is that nice? You are a good boy. Thank you. Oh, could I have a quick word with you? I have work to do. Hang on a minute. Look, I'm sorry about that earlier. My sister has recently stopped smoking and I'm constantly on edge. We're identical twins, you see. And we often feel whatever the other one is experiencing. She once had a tetanus at the doctor's and although it were only a tiny prick in her bottom, I flew off my seat on the bus and had butted a woman in front of me. I have to get back to work. Would you mind if I came over a bit later on and had a word with you? It depends what your sister is doing today. Lovely. I'll come over as soon as I've got him settled. I cannot wait. <laughs> Cheers. Café con leche? No. 
Café con leche? No, I didn't order anything. Uno café con leche. All right, I'll have it. Just leave it there. What do you want now? Two euros, please. Good sake. Gracias. Hey, good luck. So you're absolutely certain you're okay. I did give you quite a belt. It's okay, I see you have problems in your mind. I beg your pardon? Not like crazy person, like you have trouble. I have the gift. My mother had the gift, and so do I. Oh, what gift is that? I can see everything. I can see inside people. Like them x-ray specs we used to get when we were kids? No. I can see inside your soul. I can see you have many questions. Yes, I have. Questions about your future. Not my future, my son's. Wait, the questions are not about you. No, they're not. They are about someone else. Yes, they are. They are about someone who is close to you. Yes, he is. They are not about your mother. No. They are not about your brother. Well, I haven't got one. Your questions are about your son. <gasps> How did you know that? It is a gift. So, what are your questions about your son? Well, he's never had a girlfriend. And I've never stuck my nose into his private life. But, well, today, it did actually say he's not interested in girls. Yes, this is because your son is a mufalata. What's a mufalata? He's a homo, bender, knob jockey. Pillow by the bum boy, fudge backer, friend of Dorothy, fairy, fair god, gay lord, homosexual. Your son is a homosexual gay. Oh, well, I suppose you'd know. What? I mean, with you being a psychic and everything. Oh, okay. Yes. Another eggnog? Yes, I think I better. Oh, son. Why didn't you tell me? Bet. That's me done for the day. Maybe see you later on the week. All right, darling. Take care. Aye. Uh, I'll see you. Very impressive. Yes, just makes you want to dive in. Well, they do say if you stand under a waterfall, it's the most invigorating natural massage you can get. Sounds good to me. Such a shame I didn't bring my bathers. Oh, if you don't fancy that, I once did a course on erotic massage. I could oil you up and give you a rub down. No bother. She's very good with her hands. Well, I did bring me coffee. If I don't see you in there, I'll know where you are. Brandy? So, forgive me for prying, but 
Are you two an item? No, not really. Well, kind of. I mean, we're sort of very good friends. Right. You have an arrangement. No, no, no. We met in a self-help therapy group. Uh-huh. And Katie's fine with this therapy group? Katie? Your wife. Oh, Kate. No, um... Kate and I have separated. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Still, you've got your therapy group to keep you occupied, haven't you? Look, we'll get straight to the point. I think we're all singing from the same hymn sheet. Jacqueline's had a lot of fantasies about you since we first met. Has she? Oh, yeah. OK. And I can be very passive with the right sensitive kind of man. Oh, my God. What say we have a few drinks in Neptune's tonight, loosen up, and all go back to our apartment for a bit of therapy. Hi. What are you doing? I'm coming. Oh. Something tells me we won't be hearing him say that again tonight. No. Oh, well. Picnic. Oh, yes. Is this it? Sandwich and a bag of crisps. What you'd expect in a packed lunch at Christmas dinner. Well, it's not very exciting, is it? If you want excitement, go and look at the waterfall again. Never satisfied. That's always been your trouble. You what? Yeah, give it a rest. Who's checking the piss? She's never stopped whinging since we got off the plane. Can we just have our dinner in peace? She started it. Oh, grow up. Got an 11-year-old boy there making less fuss than you. Less fuss? What fuss am I making? I just said they were rubbish dinners. Well, this is a barrel of laughs, isn't it? Ma'am, do you want my penguin? I'm not eating sweet stuff. Aye, pass it over. Lovely spot! Yeah. So what's going to happen with the shop then, Mel? Oh, you had to bring that up, didn't you? What? We're trying to have a nice day out. Forget all our problems, you go mention the shop. What did you say that for? I was making polite conversation. Polite conversation? I stand and watch my livelihood burnt to ashes and you want to make polite conversation about it? Your livelihood? You've got to be kidding. You're shitting money. Not that we ever get to see any of it. Oh, here we go. At last the truth comes out. He's no father-in-law to you, he's just a meal ticket. A meal ticket? You can't get a fucking drink out of him. Right. That's enough, Mick. Go for a walk. Go for a walk? What's that supposed to mean? You're just upsetting everybody. Go for a walk. Where am I supposed to walk to? We're in the middle of bloody nowhere. Oh, just go. Ma'am, can I go for a swim? Of course you can. Be careful. Do you want me to go in with you, son? No, you're all right. No, I don't think so. Aw, they seem dead nice. Yeah, well, they're certainly very enthusiastic. Have you found some trunks then? Oh, no, these are my pants. Uh, I'm afraid I'll have to go commando on the journey back. Where's that? No, go commando. It means to, to not wear any underwear. Oh, right. Why don't you go commando now? What, here? No, no, I, I don't think that's appropriate. Come on. I promise I won't look under the water. It'll really turn me on. No, I think what with the kid is in the pool. And... Beg your pardon? Come on, Martin. We came here as friends, but there's no denying. There's a spark between us. There is? I mean, I mean, there is. I mean, I, I, I thought there, there might be. Martin. Yes? Get down in the water and slowly pull down the pants. People are looking. No, 
Now get into me. And swim under the waterfall. I'll put these out to dry and I'll meet you back there in two minutes. Brandy, I... I... Two minutes. No. You having a nice time? Yes. I love to listen to English people argue. So, what's Paco short for? I'm not short. I'm taller than you. No, I mean, is Paco your full name? Why do you ask these things? I'm trying to get to know you. I like you. My name is Paco Benitez. I am 22 years old. I live in Albiru with my boyfriend and our dog Pippo. I like French cinema and my favorite color is blue. You live in Albiru with your boyfriend? Oh my God. I've made such a fool of myself, haven't I? No. I've been trying my hardest with you all day and I've been getting absolutely nothing back, but now it all makes sense. Okay. <laughs> I can be such an idiot sometimes. Ugh. Crisp? Excuse me, that lady I was talking to earlier, did you see where she went? Yeah, she got out. Right. Did she say where she was going? No, but she took your clothes. Oh, God. <laughs> Brandy, where are you? This isn't funny. <laughs> What's your name? Michael. Michael, I need your help. See a dip, Mel? Not after I've had something to eat. Very dangerous. You've only had a bag of crisps. Hiya. Look what I got. A bottle of that liqueur and some marmalade made out of the same stuff. What have you bought that for? Thought you might like it. There he goes. Wasting money again. You keep your nose out. Don't you speak to my mother like that. Oh, for Christ's sake, don't start again. What have you got marmalade for? You know I'm not eating sweet stuff. You're not going to get any fatter from a bit of marmalade. What do you mean, fatter? I don't mean fatter, I mean... What? Fatter than I already am? <laughs> You're not fat! Everybody puts a bit of weight on on holiday. <gasps> you are? What have I said now? What have you said? You're nothing but an animal. Why, I ever let an insensitive pig like you marry my daughter, I'll never know. I never asked to marry her. I beg your pardon? No, no, I don't mean I didn't want to marry her. I mean... I... Come here, Mum. Don't upset yourself. What are you getting upset for? First you call your wife fatty, then you say you wish you'd never married her and you're asking why she's upset. Who said fatty? You're twisting me words. Janice, love, come here. Come here, Mum. I'm all right. Janice, come just here. go away. What are you... Oh, my God, you're not crying. No, I'm not crying. I just want you to go away. Janice. Janice. Oh, for Christ's sake. Thanks. It's OK. I'm all right. I'm all right. I don't know why I let him get to me. Hey, where's our Michael? Oh, he'll be all right. How do you know he's all right? Tell him, you've seen him. 
No. He went for a swim. Leave the lad alone. He's not a baby anymore. What's the worst that could happen to him? Uh, excuse me. Sorry, I just had to borrow your son for a bit. Mm. Don't suppose anyone's got any spare clothes, have they? I just wondered if you'd seen my husband anywhere. Your husband? No. Oh. OK, thank you. Today you went to the waterfalls? Yeah. Did you enjoy? Yeah, it was a nice day out. I just seemed to have lost my husband somewhere along the way. Mm, I can see much sadness in your eyes. You what? I have a gift. Have you now? Well, that's very kind of you, but I don't think I want it. No, I have a gift. I can see deep into your soul. Really? Well, yes. I can see you are not happy. Bloody hell, you're good, aren't you? How did you work that one out? Is it the lack of cartwheels I'm doing across the floor, or was it just a lucky guess? It's a crime to see such a beautiful woman alone. If you need some company this evening, I am here for you. Yeah, very flattering, I'm sure, but I know all about you. You're the type that sits in the cinema with a box of popcorn on your lap with a hole cut out in the bottom. Tus ojos son como bellas estrellas en el oscuro cielo. Tus labios cálidos y tiernos, y tus pechos rotundos y orgullosos. I'm sorry, love, I'm not very good with languages. And I just say, shut the window in French. If your husband is lost, he's unlucky. If he chooses to stay away from such a beautiful woman, then he is a fool. You are amazing. I would love to find out if what the English are saying is true. What are they saying? That you can play many a good tune on the old piano. Old piano? Perhaps I get the saying wrong. Old! I think I need to get back to work. Yeah, I think you do. Is everything all right? Fine. As long as you don't mind one of your bar staff being neutered in front of a bar full of holiday makers. Well, that one. You'd have to join the queue. Are you finished in the bathroom, son? Nearly. I want to talk to you. Yeah? You've hardly said a word since you got back this afternoon. Just been fiddling with that phone of yours, beeping every five minutes. Hang on. Son, I want you to know I know how difficult it's been for you. And I want you to know I'm so proud of you. I just want you to be happy. And if that means you being with a man and getting one of them civilised partnerships, well, then I'll stick by you. I just need to know one thing before I put my foot in it tonight. Are you ready to come out, son? I say, son, are you ready to come out? Yes, I'm ready! God save me. You all right? I'm so proud of you. It's gonna be a wonderful...
wonderful night. We shouldn't have come out. Don't be stupid. This is the first place he'll come. Where's he been? What if he's still at the waterfalls? He'll come back, tail between his legs, thinking of booze. Men are all the same. I can't just sit here. It was me that told him to go away. Mum, chill out. He'll turn up. Any sign of him, Mel? No. Mm. I've asked everywhere that nobody's seen him. Oh, God. Well, it's not all bad news. No? No, apparently there's a singer on tonight. <laughs> oh, come on, Martin. It was a joke. Really? Well, how bloody hard. <laughs> Should have seen your face. Creeping round naked with nothing but a terrified child to cover your modesty. <laughs> you look at the villagers haven't been outside the apartment with burning torches. Really? Well, when they do turn up, I'll point them to the person responsible. The bride of Frankenstein. That means you. Bride of Frankenstein. Burning torches, villagers, Frankenstein. It's a cinematic reference. I don't get it. Of course you don't get it. You're stupid. Yeah, there's no need to be like that. Really? A bit like there's no need to completely humiliate me in front of all those people. Stop moaning and get a sense of humour. I will stop moaning if you stop being an annoying, uneducated, malicious, loud-mouthed, vulgar, short, irritating, unattractive, scouse twat! <gasps> unattractive? Do you know, Martin? You were on a promise tonight, but I am warning you, if I leave this table, I will not be short of male attention. No, you'll just be short. <gasps> you still here? <laughs> Cheers. Good evening, ladies and James. I said good evening, ladies and James. Good evening. Good evening. That's better. Well, some of you may already know we have a fabulous singer here at Neptune's tonight, Benidorm's favourite, Sean Foster Connolly. But before that, we have an old friend of Neptune's who'd like to say a few words. Let's give it up for Nodding! What's going on? <laughs> Thank you, love. Ladies and gentlemen, there have been many times in my life when I've been proud of my only son, Jeff Maltby. She's me PA. His many achievements in life have been impressive and varied. From Lancashire indoor hang gliding champion to the only double winner of the Orm Skirt Meat Plate Pie Eating Competition without the need of hospitalisation. <laughs> but these brave accomplishments pale into insignificance when I tell you that tonight the night is finally decided to stand tall and announce that he is a wonderful, happy, Proud gay man. You what? Well done, son. And this one is for you. Yeah. 
Excuse me, have you seen a short man with an orange face? You what? The man with the shop. It burned down, he owes me money. I think he's in there. Are you okay? Yeah, fine. You look sad. I'm all right. Did you have a disagree with your boyfriend? Yeah, he's not my boyfriend. He's just a friend. Probably not even that right now. Do you think I'm unattractive? No. Absolutely no. Well, then kiss me, you idiot. They have everything for you men to enjoy. You can hang out with all the boys. Not in tribute to a big gay son, Jeff. Congratulations, Jeff. We'll see you in the old town at some point. But moving right on, ladies and gentlemen, tonight's entertainment, Mr. Sean Foster Connolly. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been asked by Mick Garvey to sing this first song for his beautiful wife, Janice. The message is, listen to the words, Jan. I love you so much. Where we can go? My girlfriend. She is at home. Come on, the beach. Here is my heart. You won't see him again tonight. Dad not coming back, Mom. I thought you'd had enough of me for one day, so I made myself a bit scarce. Oh, I've been worried about you. I didn't mean to do that. I just... Is my heart, my life. I don't want you ever to get sick of the sight of me. Oh, don't be daft. I love you, Janice. I love you so much. Oh. 